Greetings, Scottsdale, Arizona. I come in the name of the Lord. Repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Anybody here in Scottsdale who does not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I want to invite you to repent and be baptized and become a Christian and be baptized in the Spirit today. And so to begin that journey, you have to start with uh, saying, by saying to Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. So you can say that or say something in your own words to that effect. And mean it, of course. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You are now a Christian here in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. Congratulations and welcome to the body of Christ, the family of God. You're on your way to heaven. If you're a Christian, you probably wonder, what do you do now as a Christian? Well, the first thing you need to do is start talking to God. We call that prayer. Talk to God wherever you go, working, walking, driving. Eyes open, of course. Be safe. Also in church, eyes closed. It's all good. You're talking to God and developing a relationship with Jesus, our Savior, who died on a cross for us. And so you're telling him how you're doing, how you're feeling, your concerns, your needs. And uh, he already knows everything, by the way, but he wants you to develop your unique spiritual personality. You know, like uh, we all have unique fingerprints. Every snowflake is different. Everybody has their own spiritual uh, individual uniqueness. And if you allow Jesus to use you, you have to abandon yourself, abandon your own ego, and become the uh, chunk of clay as intended by God so that he can mold you. And so that begins with prayer and the reali realization you can't do it alone. Um, we're pretty powerless and weak on our own, even though we think we're strong with all the weapons we have as Americans and, you know, maybe you're in the military or something. It's all an illusion, though. So uh, once you come to that realization, you know, then you can start to allow Jesus to use you as intended. So begin with prayer, then get a Bible, start reading the Word of God, God's written Word, Genesis to Revelation. Remember John 3, verse 16, as you read it, God so loved the world, he gave his only Son, that whosoever shall believe shall never perish, but have eternal life. That's the main theme of the whole Bible, and probably the first verse you should memorize. And uh, it'll help explain everything else. Although there will be a lot of other parts of the Bible you won't understand without help or commentaries and things like that. But don't get uh, worried about too many things like that. Just uh, just try to become familiar with the Bible. And third, uh, you need a good church with a good pastor who will preach and teach and clearly, confidently, and courageously um give you the Bible in, in simple form as, as, as much as possible and without compromise. And then uh, also a church that will defend unborn life and will respect traditional marriage, one man, one woman. Traditional values church.